Frostube and welcome to the third day of Christmas. I am filming this. I mean, I realise it slightly looks like I'm sitting in my kitchen to film this. I am sitting on my sofa in my living room. It's just that in my tiny house, my kitchen and my living room are in the same space. It is what it is. Uh, but I'm quite pleased. I wouldn't normally do this, but there is no washing up. I don't know quite what you can see behind there, but I promise you there is no washing up. There's there's like one knife and yesterday's mug or something. Uh, so uh, that's uh, where I am and what I'm doing. It is, I'm filming this the night before, which is what I will be doing most days. So it is still Boxing Day. And as is traditional in this house on Boxing Day, still in my pyjamas, uh, I've got my electric blanket, which is not as dirty as that suddenly looked. Anyway, uh, so I hope you all had a lovely day uh, yesterday, relaxing uh, on the 26th. Um, I hope not too many of you are back to work this morning. I'm off work uh, all week until the new year, which I'm really, really enjoying. So this is going to be a very short video today because I have filmed a tutorial uh, for a finishing idea for my winter freebie. Uh, that is the, the Union Jack freebie. And it's a tutorial for how to make it into a little flag with a flagpole. And I had thought I would include that in this. But actually, I think it's the kind of thing that because it's a tutorial, it's easier if it's a separate video, if people want to find it uh, and use it for that. So I will be posting that also today. Uh, but this is just my separate little Hello Floss Tube um, 12 Days of Christmas video. So I haven't got loads to tell you. I have been doing a little bit of stitching, but not really enough to show you. I have started working on this. This is Flower Friends Bertie from Satsuma Street. Uh, I bought this as a PDF from their Etsy shop a few months ago. And I am trying to build up a little seasonal uh, selection of things that can go in my hoop wall to swap in and out. So at the moment, I've got two that are very definitely wintery, the penguin and the robin. Uh, and so I'm working on a couple, well, I'd like to work on a couple of things that will be a bit more spring-like uh, that I can swap back in for that. Uh, what else? Oh, I was just going to talk to you about 12 Days of Generosity. So what I was thinking today, and I am going to do this, although I might not do it today, uh, I need to do a wardrobe cull. That is, I need to get out uh, all my winter and autumn kind of clothes. My spring and summer ones are packed away at the moment. And just go through what are the things that I still wear, put those back in the wardrobe and still enjoy wearing. What are the things that maybe need a little repair job or an upcycling job? I try not to put too many in that pile because my temptation is to put a lot of stuff in that pile and then not go around to doing it. And then everything else gets divided into charity shop, textile bank at the recycling centre. So charity shop are things that are in good enough condition, you know, clean, no holes, no stains, that kind of thing, that they could be sold in charity shops. But I don't know if you know this, that everything that you put in the textiles bank at the recycling centre also gets used in some way. And it doesn't matter if it is a little bit ripped or stained. Um, it can still get used uh, in different ways. Um, and, the, you know, they'll sort of pick bits over and, and the fabric can get recycled itself and becomes all sorts of things. So don't think, oh, this is useless, I need to just put it in the bin. I mean, I definitely have clothes that I couldn't put in the, in the charity shop. Um, but I do still make sure I always go and put them in the textile bank and they can get reused there. And the other thing I wanted to mention, because again, you wouldn't think this, but bras, um, bras that are in reasonable condition, do put them in your charity shop donation because although they won't sell them in UK charity shops, they will usually sell them on to um, charities that work in Africa and maybe in other places as well, I'm not sure, but I certainly know in Africa where it's very hard to get reasonable bras um, and they can be very expensive. And so there's a really big market, in fact, in secondhand bras uh, for women who otherwise would find it quite difficult to get hold of them. So that's my top tip today. If you're doing some clearing out, if you've got that kind of spring cleaning fever, yeah, I mean, I haven't, but I do need to do my wardrobe. 
um, do you think about what you're doing with the clothes that you aren't keeping uh, and try there's really very few things that ought to end up in landfill usually in the textile banks they won't take duvets or pillows uh, but they will take duvet cases and pillowcases and things like that and don't just assume that because it's a little bit stained or it's got holes in it or it's you know slightly fraying that it has no value at all because it does and it may be helping somebody else uh, in a different part of the world. I think that's all I've got uh, for you today. Tomorrow I'll be back with a longer uh, fourth day of Christmas video uh, but I hope you enjoy this tutorial that will also be up later today. And you know what, tomorrow I'm gonna to be wearing real clothes. How about that? Not in my pajamas. I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching, see you tomorrow.